let my trials come to only make me strong. to depend upon his word. Everybody in the world has problems. Everybody at some time or other is going to have a rough go of it. And the Bible teaches us how we're to respond and how we are to deal with those difficult times. It says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. One of the great mysteries of life is that not everything that we want or that we would desire is in God's perfect will for us. And of course, as one great writer has said, the problem with pain is that it hurts. And so we're not asking for pain. We're not asking for problems. Obviously, it is the the, the natural response of all humanity to shrink from pain and difficulty and try to avoid it if at all possible. We don't ask the Lord for problems. But when those difficulties are there in our life, in our experience, at that very moment, we can give thanks to God, not for the problem, but for the time in which we find ourselves and the, the greater plan that God has for us in that moment and with that particular difficulty. I'm very thankful that Andre Crouch left us this song. Uh, I thank God for the mountains. I thank him for the valleys. I thank him for the storms he brought me through. For if I'd never had a problem, I wouldn't know that he could solve them. I'd never know what faith in God can do. And faith in God can move a mighty mountain. And we know that, that uh, God's grace is sufficient for everything that we may be going through, but we need to be giving thanks that God has a greater plan. And sometimes when I'm in pain or having difficulties in my life, I say, Lord, I'm not thankful for the pain or the difficulty, but thank you that you're here with me. He was there in the fire with the three Hebrew boys and he's with us now in our difficulty. He was there in the lion's den with Daniel. He's with us right now in our problem. He was, he was right there with Paul and Silas in the Philippian jail at midnight when they sang it. He's right here and right there with you at this time. Let's thank him, shall we? Father, we thank you that you're here in the midst of our challenge, our difficulty, our problem that we're facing. And we thank you for your presence. And Lord, we would ask that you might graciously consider taking the burden of the problem, but if not, just use that to make us stronger and to glorify yourself, Lord. We know that your grace is sufficient, and so help us. While our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, we call on the name of the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart and save me right now. Take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you've prayed that prayer and meant it, would you let us know? We'd love to know that you've received Christ as your Savior. And if you're leading people to Jesus, that, that's a wonderful thing. Would you share that with us? Right now, let's pray for the sick. Lord, we pray for those that have known for a long time that they've got a disease or a condition. And Lord, you give them grace and get them by and help them to be a witness. I pray for those that need a healing, those that need uh, your special touch. I pray for those that are having such problems in their life. They can't even discuss them with anyone but you. But thank you, Lord, that you know all about it. And meet those needs now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So sing with me, if you would, please, through it all. Through it all. Here we go, ready? 
God bless you today.